Welcome to Technology FAQ. I'm Hirok and today I'm going to show you how you can create this cool animated clock which shows you time and date. So let's begin. First of all, create a new folder, name it whatever you want, then open it and then open this folder with your Visual Studio code. Then go to the explorer and create a new file called index.html then create another file called style.css then make another file script.js okay so first of all let's go to index.html and and create our markup Let's zoom in a little bit. Then give it a title of uh, let's say digital clock. Then let's link the CSS file with the link tag uh, style.css and also the JavaScript file that is script. We have to use the script tag script src. Uh, script.js .js and give it an attribute of defer okay now let's go to body and create a div element with a class of clock box then inside it let's create two elements one with a class of clock and Another with a class of date. Okay, so inside the clock, we'll write h h uh, h h colon m m colon s s. Just a placeholder. Here we will update the uh, time dynamically with JavaScript. And in the date element, we'll write d d. Why, 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 why? Okay, so let's open it with a live server. So here is our HTML. Okay, now let's go to style.css and design it. First of all, let's import the taco font. Import. We are going to use this font. Sorry, HTTPS. Then we got fonts. Dot. Google APIs. APIs. Dot. Com. Slash. CSS. Question mark. Family. Equals to T E K O. Colon. Regular. So that's for the font import. Now we'll do some style reset. That is star comma actually it's asterisk before before comma asterisk after and give it a margin zero. Padding of zero, box sizing of border box, and font family, font, font family of deco, and for the fallback, we will sense serif k. Now go. To, now let's select our HTML and body, and give it a height of 100% and a width of 100%. I am doing this because it will help us to center the element. I'll select the body element and give it the following properties. There is display will be flex 
then justify content center uh, then align items center so as you can see the date is right at the center now I'll put text align of center okay now I'll give a background background image of radial gradient radial gradient and we'll give a oh, color a dark uh, dark gray one two one two one two and another one is pure black zero 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 okay so here you can see background now we'll uh, give the text color of white with a little bit of transparency so ff 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 for the white and dd for transparency okay now we'll go to line height and give it a line height of 3m now let's select clock box clock box so if you don't know why I, uh, why I'm using this dot here it's because uh, to select element we use the name of the element and to select a class we use dot followed by the class name uh, as you can see body is an element but here clock box is a class so select a class we need to use dot followed by the class name now we'll give it a padding of 3m uh, 3m for the top and bottom and 1.5m 0.5m for right and left now let's give it a background image image of linear gradient linear gradient and first let's give the color the hash 7b 4397 for the purplish color and DC 2430 for red. Okay, uh, let's save it. Okay, now let's give it an angle of 45 degree. 45 degree. Okay, now uh, let's give it border radius border border radius of 30 percent 70 percent 70 percent 30 percent slash 30 percent 30 percent 70 percent and 70 percent okay uh, let's zoom in a little bit to make it larger Now let's select our clock and give it a font size, font size of 4.5 M. Okay, now it's big. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, now we'll go to our date and Give it a font size, font size of 2M. Okay, now we'll select clock, date, and we'll give it a text shadow. text shadow of 0 5 px 5 px and the color that is black uh, 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 and a little bit of transparency okay, as you can see now there is some text shadow and then let's give it an animation so we'll go to clock box and so we'll go to clock box and add an animation uh, animation 
and give it a name let's say bg blob then give it an animation of 4 seconds infinite and give it a delay of 0 0.5 seconds okay now let's define this animation we'll go at the bottom and with keyword keyframes and give it the name of the animation bg blob bg blob and then start defining our animation this for zero percent that is at the very beginning uh, for zero percent that is at the very beginning the border radius border radius will be mm, the same as before it is 30 percent 30 percent 70 percent then at 25 percent of the animation we'll give it a border radius border radius of 61 percent 39 percent 27 percent 73 percent slash 62 percent uh, 77 percent 23 percent 38 percent as you can see it has now started to animate now we have to <laughs> it's having a very weird animation right now okay so for up for 50 percent of the animation we'll give it a border radius actually this should be for the 50 percent animation so oh, sorry for that copy and paste it here yeah. now for 25 percent uh, we'll get 75 percent 75 percent 25 percent 25 percent 45 percent 55 percent slash 30 percent 30 percent 70 percent and 70 percent So now for the 75 percent, uh, 75 percent, we'll give it a. Let's just paste it and we'll edit it right now. Uh, 38 percent, 62 percent, 74 percent, 26 percent, slash, 75 percent, 57 percent. 43% and 25% okay now for the final step that is 100% give it a border radius of 30% 70% 70% 30% 30 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30% 30
is equal to new date so we are creating a new date object so it will contain all the information about today's date and everything so here let's say hh is equal to the we'll select today the today object and from that we'll get the hours hours then that mm equal to today dot get minutes so we'll get the minute from here and then we'll say let ss is equal to today dot seconds so we'll get the current second now let's uh, get the date so we'll say let date is equal to today dot two sorry dates to date string this will convert this today object into date string which will contain information like uh, Tuesday August like this August 13 2019 okay now it's time that we update the content so we'll say c means clock dot inner in a text is equal to we'll be using template literal here so we'll give double ticks and dollar hh dollar mm colon dollar ss let's see here we have not a number one seven not a number uh, today is set oh sorry so it should be get not set get seconds okay now you can see one seven fifty five so let's do it th this way that's uh we have to add a zero if the number if the time is of single digit we'll add a zero for that we have to use like dot to we have to convert this number into string first so we'll go dot to string then we'll do dot pad start two digits so we'll be using two then we'll be padding with zero so we'll be putting zero as a string here that's safe okay as you can see here we have this zero one now but we have to do it for all of this so instead of uh, making the string so much longer we can create a function so let's create a function function and give it a name and give it a name pairing and give it a parameter of n and then within the function we write return n dot n dot n means here n means whatever we are going to put inside as a parameter or arguments as you can see this is the n is the parameter and we'll be convert this number n to let's just copy this one here and paste it cut it and then paste it okay now instead of the h dot we can simply say padding we can use the function padding and pass the hour as an argument now as you can see it's easy now we can do this for all of them padding padding okay now let's do it for the date also so we'll say d dot inner text equal to we say date don't forget to put another argument to this set interval function uh, there is an argument of time that is how often it should run this function so we'll give it 1000 1000 for 1000 milliseconds that is one second so every one second everything inside this function will run and it will update this text here so it's done so if you like the video hit the like button and if you want to see more videos then subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon to receive new new notifications when i upload any video if you have any suggestions for me then you can comment it down below and i hope you enjoyed the video see you in the next one